God has always had his true prophets present to oversee and lead his people. Not only in the Old Testament, but even in the first century, the body of Christ submitted to the first apostles and named prophets as recorded in the book of Acts. Scriptures say that a true prophet of God will be ultimately discerned and recognized by another true prophet, like when Jesus stood in the river Jordan for his baptism by John the Baptist. This example shows two prophets bearing witness to each other with Jesus being the ultimate prophet and the son of the living God. However, I see no true prophet that I know of today in America publicly. In the United States today, only self-sent and phony, self-labeled prophets who mislead God's people are seen in TBN's and Daystar's programming, who bring a major reproach and a mockery upon the Lord. These are hirelings who exhibit unchristlikeness and deliver false teachings and false prophecies to the naive body of Christ. But God's word foretells of this for today's end times. For example, Jeremiah chapter 23 profiles wicked and false prophets and shepherds who lead God's people astray in the last days. The Apostle Paul also repeatedly foretold of today's end time false teachers and ear tickling ministers who would mislead the body of Christ. In fact, the falling away spoken of in the New Testament is exactly what we see today in America, today without question. In Matthew 24, 11, Jesus also foretold that many false prophets will arise in the end times. Again, America is second to none with approximately 300,000 church pastors and over 55,000 Catholic priests and hundreds of TV preachers and false prophets. The Lord also instructed his disciples in Matthew 24, 4, to see to it that no one misleads you, no one. So no believer has to be fooled as to who's who standing at today's end time pulpits, but it requires knowing God's word and sharp discernment by the anointing of God. God is not mocked. He does have true prophets polished and ready to step forward in the days ahead. These will speak as oracles of God about the major foretold events which are coming and will equip the body of Christ, as Ephesians 4.12 requires of every true fivefold minister. Versus today's unanimous batch of worldly shallow-minded preachers and so-called prophets who fill the airwaves with worldly and empty chatter at best, which 2 Timothy 2.16 says leads to further ungodliness, which is exactly what is occurring today in America.